Kate and Prince William could miss Meghan Markle's royal baby birth as they visit Wales. Kate and Prince William could miss the birth of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal baby as they head to Wales for royal engagements. It was thought Meghan would have given birth by next week, with her due date believed to be late April or early May. But the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will head to William's old training ground in North Wales on Wednesday with still no sign of the royal baby. William and Kate are due to visit Hale and Monsey Salt in Anglesey and the Carnarvon Coast Guard Search and Rescue Helicopter Base in Gwynedd. Prince William trained as an RAF Search and Rescue Pilot in Anglesey, graduating in 2013. Prince Harry is also set to head to Amsterdam on Tuesday to launch a one-year countdown for the Invictus Games, raising speculation that the royal baby could arrive over the bank holiday weekend, and leading even some fans to suggest the baby has already been born. The Queen has also got engagements at Windsor Castle to attend to next week, while Prince Charles and Camilla head to Germany on Tuesday to meet with politicians at the request of the British government. Harry's aunt and uncle Princess Anne and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex also have packed schedules up until May 10. Prince William and Kate have been seeing less of Prince Harry and Meghan since their royal wedding last May, with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex deciding to leave Kensington Palace and move to Windsor away from the Cambridges. But William and Kate are understood to have paid a visit to Harry and Meghan in Windsor, giving them a housewarming gift as they try to move forward. Harry and Meghan wished niece Princess Charlotte a public happy birthday, commenting on an Instagram post from their Sussex royal account. Baby Sussex will be seventh in line to the throne and is the couple's first child together. Details about the birth have been limited after the pair said they wished to keep plans about the arrival of the baby private. Today, Patty Power suspended betting on the date of the birth after a huge surge in interest which they say means someone knows something. But, despite the secrecy, it is expected that the royal family will release a statement when the Duchess is born. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry warned they are at risk of eclipsing royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are at risk of eclipsing the likes of Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, royal expert Katie Nicholl has warned. Meghan Markle and Harry risk overshadowing members of the royal family by dominating the spotlight in the same way Princess Diana attracted global media attention, according to Ems Nicol. The royal biographer told Yahoo's Royal Box, I think it is fair to say that Meghan and Harry have really occupied the spotlight. Since the royal wedding, they are rarely off the front pages. I think there is a risk that they could eclipse other members of the royal family. I think you are already seeing more column inches dedicated to Meghan and Harry than we are to the Cambridges and, certainly, to the Prince of Wales. And, of course, you only need to look back in time and not that long ago to Diana and the phenomenon that she was. Actually, the negatives that came with her eclipsing her husband, it did have at points a negative knock-on effect for the monarchy. Mr. Nicol also revealed Meghan was given a stern dressing down by the Queen herself after the Duchess of Sussex got into a petty row with royal staff after tasting egg in a dish for the royal wedding. The Hollywood celebrity travelled to Windsor Castle ahead of her wedding to Prince Harry last May to test some of the food that was going to be served at the reception. Ems Nicol explained that the former actress had insisted there be a macrobiotic alternative for some of her Hollywood friends who followed the diet which derives from Zen Buddhism. Ems Nicol said, Meghan got very upset when she felt that she could taste egg in a dish when she was told there was no egg in there, and she said, No, I can't taste it, I can taste there's an egg in this dish. I think there was a bit of an upset when suddenly the Queen walked in because of course, this was Windsor Castle, this is her home. And she just quietly took Meghan to the side and said, Meghan, in this family we don't speak to people like that. Meghan is expected to give birth to her and Harry's first child any day now, after they announced the Duchess was pregnant in October last year. On Wednesday, it was announced that Prince Harry will be abroad between May 8 and 9 for a planned visit to the Netherlands. But it was then revealed on Friday Prince Harry has decided to postpone his visit to Amsterdam, with rising speculations the Duchess is due to give birth. The royal will travel to The Hague on May 9 as planned although this subject to review, depending on the birth of baby Sussex. 
Royal correspondent Victoria Murphy wrote on Twitter, Buckingham Palace has said that they have decided to postpone the Duke of Sussex's scheduled visit to Amsterdam on Wednesday 8 of May 2019. Harry is still scheduled to travel to The Hague on Thursday 9 May for the launch of the Invictus Games The Hague 2020 as planned. The Duke and Duchess announced they would be welcoming their first child back in October 2018. A statement from Kensington Palace revealed the baby was expected to be due in the spring. The statement said, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in April they wanted to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private and they would have introduced their firstborn to the world in due time, after having celebrated privately as a new family.